heat. And now to a breaking news update. Portland police say the person shot by officers in Northeast Portland last night has died at the hospital. Cor Harlan joins us live with new video of police and protesters clashing along with what witnesses say they saw happen last night. Cor. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Jenny. It was here at the Motel 6 in Northeast Portland at Grand Avenue and Holiday Northeast that police were called for a welfare check sometime around 7 o'clock last night that ultimately led to that officer shooting one person in the parking lot here. It was also here that protesters clashed with police in the hours following that shooting. Now, this is new video this morning from a person called Zane Sparling, who's a reporter with our news partner, the Portland Tribune. It shows protesters pushed back by police as items are thrown, along with lots of yelling. Uh, Sparling points out to us that officers were using crowd control munitions to help bring the group under control. Police have not released any of the specifics so far on what led up to the shooting at the Motel 6 last night, uh, but witnesses told us that the incident may have started as a fight in the parking lot. They say that two men were going at it when one of them stabbed the other. That same witness says police shot the person who stabbed the other person. Officers would rush that person to the hospital where he later died. Uh, the area of Northeast Holiday and Grand Avenue was shut down as they investigated. And then, then officers say at around 11 o'clock, people were trying to get into the taped off area. They say that people also tried to grab an officer's baton, and one officer was sprayed with, with what uh, was described as a chemical spray. Uh, Portland police say that one patrol car had its tires popped along with its windows broken. Officers say they called in other units from across the city to help with safety and to secure the area of the uh, scene here around the Motel 6. Now, that officer involved in the shooting is on administrative leave. That is pretty normal procedure following an officer involved shooting. Their name is expected to be released later on today. Uh, reporting live here from the Motel 6 along uh, Northeast Grand Avenue at Holiday, the scene of last night's shooting and protest against police. Cor Harland, Coin 6 News. Emily and Jenny. All right. Thank you, Cor. And as we learn more about this situation, of course, we'll be sure to post updates on coin.com. Okay. It's 437. We want to check back in on that hot forecast. Kelly, I could feel it when I walked out the door.